morning and welcome to Eskimo TV. We're talking today to Dr. Norman Briffer. Dr. Briffer is a consultant cardiac surgeon at the Northern General Hospital in Sheffield and senior lecturer at the University of Sheffield in the UK. Hi, Dr. Briffer, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Great. Dr. Briffer, let's talk today about bypass surgery and off-pump bypass surgery. So I'm going to start off with what is heart bypass surgery? Uh, heart bypass surgery is probably the commonest heart operation that's done worldwide. It involves um, getting a, a, a tube, which is usually a vein from the legs or an artery from behind the breastbone, and it's used to bypass narrowings inside the arteries of the heart. Uh, it's used to treat uh, angina, to treat narrowings of the coronary arteries, coronary artery disease. When is bypass surgery needed, and who would be at risk of needing this type of surgery? It would be patients with very serious coronary artery disease, um, which represents only a, a relatively small percentage of all the people who have heart disease. Uh, but it's patients who have heart, patients who have suffered a heart attack, uh, and patients who suffer with very severe angina. When is multiple bypass surgery needed? Uh, patients who have, we have two coronary arteries in, in our hearts, and uh, there's a left and a right, and the left divides into two, uh, two main coronary arteries. So uh, when you need all those different branches bypassed because of serious narrowing, then uh, what you need is what is colloquially called a triple bypass. Um, so it's patients who, ha who have very serious narrowings, very serious disease in all their coronary arteries. They need multiple bypasses. And how is the bypass surgery done? And is there a difference between bypass surgery and off-pump bypass surgery? Yes, there, there are two ways of, of doing this operation. One is um, using a heart-lung machine and stopping the heart. So the heart-lung machine would support and keep the patient alive whilst the operation is being done. Uh, and the other is what's known as off-pump, which is um, doing the operation without actually attaching the patient to a heart-lung machine and without stopping the heart. That's known as off-pump. And how risky is bypass surgery? The risks are very small. Uh, certainly the risk of dying um, or the risk, the risk, the the chances of surviving a heart bypass operation are probably more than 98 or 99 times out of 100. So, so the risks are very, very small, and they've come down quite rapidly over the past 10 years. So, so, so it is certainly it's a safe operation, uh, and it's safer than the alternative, which is not having the surgery. How long does it take to recover after the surgery, and um, what should a person do in their daily life to remain healthy? It takes about it's a, a couple of months, two to three months, to recover following the surgery. Uh, and it's important after surgery to make sure that the, the bypasses uh, or the, the effects of the operation last for a long time it's important if they suffer with the hypertension, high blood pressure, that, that's well controlled. If they're diabetic, it's important that their diabetes is well controlled. It's, it's crucially important patients do not smoke. And uh, it's important that they take uh, all the drugs that have been prescribed for them after the surgery. Thanks, Dr. Briffer. Thank you so much for talking to me today. You're welcome.